Hello everyone and welcome to iExam B. So this is the second video in this series and if you have not gone through the first video yet, please go through the first video and to ensure that every time you get the reminder, please subscribe to the channel because these are the questions which are very difficult to find if you are preparing for RBA grade B exam. In the questions, there are multiple options and I am discussing each and every option. So actually in doing some these 200 questions, you will be able to actually get the understanding of maybe thousands question. So hope you enjoy that and for anything you feel free to write on the comment. I will try to improve this series further. First starting with the question which I asked in the last video. So this was the question asked in the last video, which of the following statement or statements is are correct about the housing loan limit as per the PSL eligibility as per the recent monetary policy review in June 2018. So hope by now you have read this document clearly. So the limit has been increased from 28 lakh to 35 lakh in metro centers. Metro centers are defined those having population more than 10 lakh. And it is increased from 20 lakh to 25 lakhs in other centers and other centers are having population less than 10 lakh. And this limit is subject to the overall cost of the house not exceeding 45 lakh in the metropolitan area and 30 lakh in the other area. Therefore, option B, C and D are correct. Most of you have answered this correctly. Happy to see that good progress. Hope I will get a better response this time. Next question, which is the first question for today. The RBI has announced that it will set up a public credit registry. Which of the following is the expected role of public credit registry? So sometimes if these kind of question you even do not know if you have not read about it, but you can apply your common sense and this common sense doesn't come out of thinking in vacuum. This common, this common sense comes out of the experience of knowing about the sector, about the industry. So if you read more about the banking industry, if you know more about RBI, the regulation, you will be able to answer these questions. So PCR, so PCR will be established to keep a record of loan exposure of big corporate. Okay, just read it. Who borrow from more than one bank? That is one. Okay, PCR will be a repository of all loan contract duly verified by the reporting institutions okay this is telling about all loan contract option i said about the corporate loan big loan pcr is expected to increase the interest rate increase the interest rate transparency okay this is about the interest rate transparency but the name is public credit registry so this option doesn't seem to be correct pcr is expected to be a for profit company jointly set up by commercial bank and other financial institution. Okay, we don't know whether it is for profit or not right now. So just park this option. Next is all of the above are correct. So this third is not, doesn't seem correct. So this option also we can reject. Now you have to find out from these three options. And now again go to the name public credit registry. So it seems it is public credit. So Public again shows not about any category of borrower, big borrower, or small borrower. So then option A, the chances are less because here it is selling about the big corporate borrowers. So option B seems to be correct because again option D is telling about the nature of the company for profit or not. It may be. So here the correct answer is option B is the correct answer and it is plan to be a non-profit company. The idea is that it can be an independent agency because it has not been set up yet. So I am not commenting on that. But the idea is not to make it a for-profit company because it will be an independent repository of the database so that all banks or lending institution, they will get to know how much loan some company has taken from other banks or some individuals have taken from other banks. So this is a public repository of the public database of the loans taken, repository of the all loans taken. Next question, banks can borrow up to 1% of the NDTL, NDTL is net demand time liabilities from RBI under which facility, repo, MSF, MSF is marginal standing facility, MSS, market stabilization scheme, any of the above or none of the above. So before I answer this, I will tell you, most of you may be aware, but still 
if you are not using this facility of i exam b where all the mock tests are free so start doing it right now and please pass this message to the maximum people maximum friends so that they can also get the the benefit of this facility where exam like mock test you can go and you can see our mock test resembles the exam paper because we make it that way we do not want to make mock tests which are difficult than exam because there is no point practicing for cat if you are appearing in banking exam we are clear on that right so coming to this if you do not understand between msf mss repo rate please read or i have covered this in other video that also you can find out still if there is a doubt you can ask me in the comment i will try to cover it in the next videos so now coming to this under which facility 1% of the nddtl can be borrowed by the banks so the answer to this is market marginal standing facility msf msf is a liquidity adjustment facility under which bank can borrow funds up to 1% of their nddtl and this is started by rbi in 2011 and i have already told you the rate of msf so i told that reverse repo is the lowest and then it is repo and then marginal standing facility and this is called policy corridor of 50 bps so you know this now coming to next question which of the following statement or statements is or are correct about the sovereign wealth fund have you heard this word sovereign wealth fund statement a these are the funds to finance relief work bailout packages and other emergency activities b these are the funds of the government or the central bank of a country that invest further to earn profit profitable return statement c these are the funds which are created from the recovery of the black money by the government a different statement statement d funds created by contribution of the wealthy people interested in contributing to the welfare activities okay so you shall know what is a sovereign wealth fund the name itself suppose, uh, signals you it is sovereign so it is created by the government so it is actually created by the government or central bank and the idea is to invest the government money at a place where returns can be more so option b is the correct option because it is not for relief or bailout package or any philanthropic activity the idea is the part of some money say say rbi today has 412 billion usd so this is the latest number this keeps on changing so this 412 billion usd a part of it say rbi takes out say i will take 50 billion and create a separate fund and in this fund the idea will be to get profitable returns because a lot of money is required for different activities mainly to manage the market these kinds of funds are more popular in gulf countries they have lot of forex reserve which they have generated out of selling the crude oil so if you read this definition here a sovereign wealth fund which is also called sovereign investment fund is the money derived from a country's reserves set aside for investment purpose to benefit the country's economy and citizen the funding comes from central bank's reserve i told you the example above investments are made in stock bonds real estate precious metals or in alternate investments such as private equity or hedge fund so any type of investment can be made here the idea is to make profit and this is very interesting question next question here rbi has announced that it will set up a public credit registry as a repository of the information regarding loan information of individuals and corporate borrowers so here i is missing so now i have again repeated the definition of pcr the purpose of pcr is given here the question now here is this decision has been taken as per the recommendation of so now you see the question has changed so it is asking pcr has been there is a plan to create pcr and this is at the recommendation of which committee ym devasthali committee ravindra s dholakia committee michael devotra patra committee viral v acharya committee or urjit patel committee so this no guess where will work or no elimination method will work you have to know this fact and the answer to this is 
why am devasthali committee has recommended this another question a budgeting method in management in management accounting that involves preparing the budget from the scratch with fresh evaluation each time this is not required each time is called what is this kind of budgeting method is called scratch budgeting nil based budgeting zero based budgeting yearly zero budgeting or zero accounting budgeting so here also you shall know the term the term used for this kind of budgeting is zero based budgeting zero based budgeting is a method of budgeting in which all expenses are justified for each new period so in every period that accounting period can be 3 months or 6 month or a year so the previous periods accounts will be made zero so it will start from the zero so zero based budgeting starts from a base zero every time and then every function of the organization is analyzed for the needs and cost in rbi exam especially such kind of fundamental question just to check the concepts are also asked another question which organization help con helps countries in case of balance of payments problem so i think this i have told number of time but still i thought i shall put up a question because then you don't forget it and if you know this that is very good so answer options are world bank imf wto united nations any of the above so this role is played by imf international monetary fund so most of the time the confusion is between world bank and imf because wto is for the trade for free trade we discussed in one video about wto get and you know the purpose of united nations world bank is for soft loans for developmental loans with the aim of eradicating poverty from the world one line if you shall remember about world bank is its aim of eradicating poverty next question which of the following is not a component of india's foreign currency reserve so this is this type of questions are frequently asked even in fact you shall also know which of the following is contributing highest because the question here is which is not a component of the foreign currency reserve answer options are foreign currency assets fca gold reserves sdr sdr r special drawing rights sdr with imf and reserve position with the imf or all of the above are part of the forex reserve the correct answer to this you have to write by commenting below i will discuss i will also discuss with the amount in the next video but first you shall attempt this question and i am sure if you do a mistake right now you will never forget the right answer thanks for watching the video see you in the next video